Hi everyone! In this video, I'll show you how I use the new Cricut printable iron-on for both light and dark fabrics. If you're looking for shop links and discount information, you'll find them in the description right under this video. By the way, I'll be posting more videos about all the new products. So now is a good time to hit that subscribe button and be sure you don't miss out. These are the images I'm going to be using today for printable iron-on. I think they're so pretty, so colorful. I'm going to change my canvas color so it will be easier for you to see what I've done. There we go. I've added offset to the background so that I have a smoother cut around the edges, which does make it easier to transfer to my fabric. Some of you will ask about doing intricate cuts. You can, but you want to remember that you never use transfer tape with printable iron-on. You're printing face up and the transfer tape will remove the printable coating and your ink. So you don't want to use transfer tape. You'll use these images the same way you would use a sticker. You peel it off of your material and place it on your fabric. You'll cover it before pressing. There is a cover sheet included in the pack of printable iron-ons and you'll press that way. But you'll see more about that and I'll give you more information in the next part of this video. Let's continue. You can see at the top right of my canvas that I have Joy Extra selected as my machine. And for those of you who will ask, yes, you can use these new 8.5 by 11 materials with your Explore or Maker family machines. We'll click Make It. I'm going to use the printable iron-on for dark fabrics to print out this parrot and I'll use light for this create image. So let's go back and click continue. Design space is connecting to my Joy Extra. I'm going to click send to printer. Cricut advises that you want to use best quality for printing and that's for best results. And if you see that it's, your ink is smudging, it's not drying well, then your printer may be laying down too much ink and you might want to adjust the setting. I'm going to turn off bleed. I don't need it. I have a white offset around the image. And I'm going to turn on Use System Dialog. I'll press Print. I will need to lower my screen in order to see my dialog box. I'll click on layout and choose print settings. I'm going to select quality for best results. Go back to print settings and the way I have my drivers set up, I'm going to use advanced settings and change to Adobe RGB. But that is because of the drivers I have set up for my Epson printers. We'll go ahead and press print. I'll switch to my overhead camera. There's a few things I'd like to show you about the new printable iron-on. Before we go ahead, cut out the images and press them. Before I go any further, I wanted to give you a quick tip on the difference between the printable for light fabric and for dark fabric. For the dark fabric, you'll see the blank side that you're going to be printing on has a slight texture to it, while the light version is smooth. There's a very slight texture to it. On the back of the printable for dark fabric, you have a QR sticker. This one is for dark. The material itself is opaque white. So that's for dark fabric. For light fabric on the back, you have the green grid and the Cricut logo. So that's a great way to tell the two apart. Also for light fabric is very smooth. 
and the printable material is transparent. For either one, you want to check how your printer prints. Does it print with your paper good side up or good side down? That will depend on your individual printer. You will need to be sure of that before you feed your printable into your printer. And we'll continue. I'm going to print the images. We'll cut them out and press them. I should have mentioned also, when you're using printable iron-on, you do not mirror your image because you are printing good side up and you are removing it and placing it on your background, on your t-shirt or tote bag, whatever you're using. You're placing it right on good side up. So you are not mirroring your image, whether you're using the light or the dark. And I'm so impressed with how this image turned out. Look at the colors. Aren't they gorgeous? Let's set this one aside. We'll cut the parrot first. Open my Joy Extra. And like the original Joy, there are no buttons. You're going to do everything on your design space screen. So I'm going to place this on my light grip mat. I'll put it here so I don't have it sticking to the mat where I don't want it to. There we go. That's all set. I'm going to select in Design Space. I'll select my material and I'm going to choose Printable Iron-On Dark. All I need to do is give the mat a slight push up against the rail for it to feed. Design Space is loading and checking my material. And all I do now is click Go. My audio setup is very close to my machine and my computer, so I am going to mute the mic while this cutting is done. And to unload, we use the icon on our screen. I'm going to select printable iron-on light, give a little push to the mat up against the roller. And we're all done printing. I'm going to switch to my overhead camera and we'll press our project. So I'm going to be putting this adorable parrot on a t-shirt. It is a navy blue t-shirt, although on my screen I see it as black. I hope you're able to see it as navy blue. The colors are going to look gorgeous on the navy blue. I've set my easy press to 315 for 30 seconds. This is the time and temperature that Cricut recommends for the printable iron-on, whether you're using for dark fabric or light fabric. And you will be able to check the Cricut heat guide for those instructions. 
So I'm just going to peel my graphic off of the carrier sheet because as I mentioned, we're going to place it by hand. I want to peel it carefully. I don't want to tear it. Best to take your time and peel it carefully. There we go. I start on the larger side so that I'm not pulling up any of the smaller edges. go. We're going to place it right on our t-shirt exactly where we want it. That will be cute and I'm going to cover it with the butcher paper that is included in the package. Adorable and we'll go ahead and press. I should mention I did lint roll first always on a t-shirt because there might be some little threads or lint and you don't want that under your graphic. We'll go ahead and press and start my easy press. I'm just putting a little pressure on it for 30 seconds. If you're wondering about how to care for this printable iron-on, you want to wash your garment inside out in cold water hang it to dry and the better care you take of your project the longer it will last of course so if you toss it in the machine right side out and wash it in hot water it's definitely going to fade some isn't that adorable 315 degrees for 30 seconds. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so I used my big 12 by 10 Easy Press for this project. I'm going to switch Easy Press and I'll do the light printable iron on. I'll be right back. And we're all set to press our light printable iron on. I'm going to use a Cricut cosmetic bag just lint roll it to make sure everything is good again i'm using 315 for 30 seconds i'm just going to peel my graphic off of the back and if you use them both you will see the difference the light is a lot thinner and more transparent that means if you're putting it on let's say a pastel t-shirt like a pink or a light green or something like that, that color will show through and might affect the colors of your graphic. So I'm just going to cover this in butcher paper. There we go, start my timer. And I'm just giving it a little pressure. Almost done. And done. Remove the butcher paper. And there we go. Gorgeous. So these have really turned out terrific. I hope this video is going to help you use the new printable iron-ons. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you're looking for more info, check the description right under this video. Thank you for watching.